I'm gonna make the actual rough puff pastry. You gotta make sure that the butter is very cold. You gotta work with it pretty quickly. Get it into the bowl. Move it around, make sure that the flour is covering the butter pieces completely before we start working with it. This gets to aerate and cover the butter at the same time. And then we get to squish between our thumb and our fingers, squish the butter. It doesn't have to all be squished perfectly. Take one piece in your one hand, one piece in the other, and then just keep flipping them around until you no longer have gigantic pieces of butter. One of the great things that we do with uh, this, um, you don't get to uh, heat up the butter that quick. Through this entire process, the flour butter combination, um, because you're breaking up the butter very slowly, the flour actually remains dry the entire time. Okay, now we're going to need to add water. Okay, so we're going to add our first tablespoon of ice cold water into the mixture. In totality, you will use 10 tablespoons of water. And we put in the final tablespoon of water. We'll just mix it a little bit. And you can actually start seeing that it's now starting to become a little clumpy on my hands, um, not to worry. This is actually the right stage, the right look, that you still have the clumps of butter and the flour isn't completely moist and wet, but it will come together as the butter starts to melt and be refrigerate and re-refrigerate. And just bring it together Okay, so let's get our pastry into some plastic wrap and we can get into the refrigerator. You can keep this in the refrigerator for minimum 30 minutes. If you want to put it through to an hour or a little bit longer, you can, but it has to be in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so we've got the dough out the refrigerator. And you can actually still see the chunks of butter. You want it about a third of an inch in height before you uh, fold it. And then we fold it in half and fold it in half again. Put it back into your cling wrap and and let it rest for another 30 minutes in the refrigerator. So you fold it over and fold it over again. So it's back in the refrigerator again for 30 minutes. So we just roll it over and we roll it over and this is now going to the refrigerator for the final time. Okay, so we have just taken the pastry out of the refrigerator. Um, we're now going to just dust it and roll it. This time around we're doing the roll. Um, it needs to be rolled about 14 inches into diameter, which goes, which will then uh, go into a nine and a half inch foil dish. So what we do is we're now going to just roll the dough over the roller and then put your foil dish and roll it into the dish. 
Perfect. As we roll the pastry and fold the pastry, it creates the levels of flakiness, so it becomes multi-level pastry. The complicated part is now all done. Woohoo! This is now time to to do the first bake. You put this onto a tray. It's going to go into the oven at 425. Uh, for literally four minutes. Once you've taken it out the oven, let it cool and it's filling time. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay guys, so for the filling, we're going to do the following. We're going to be melting butter into a saucepan on a medium heat we then add the sugar we have to stir it uh, for about three or three or four minutes in the corn syrup and we occasionally stir for about three to four minutes okay as the mixture is now starting to boil take off the heat take the mix the beaten eggs that we have used we are going to pour around one cup um, of the uh, sugar mixture at a time while we are stirring into the beaten egg Add a tablespoon of flour into the mix and what that does is it will make sure that it actually congeals and sets correctly without being too liquidy during the baking process. So now we take the mixture, we fill it in. And we're then going to put it into the oven to bake for around about 40 minutes. see how beautiful the pastry has come out with all of that rolling and folding and the coolness how beautiful that looks that looks just truly amazing and you can actually see the the air holes that's actually been created through the whisking process there is a masterpiece. Moving it into another dish, hoping that it does not break. Voila! No breakage. <laughs> this is this is beautiful. I am wowed. I am absolutely wowed. Wow, that is looking beautiful. Just magnificent. Here is the pie. Turning it upside down, beautiful golden brown, the inside of it is beautiful, look at the texture, wow, that is just magnificent, beautiful, 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 here we go, it is just wow, truly wow. It is not overpoweringly sweet. The flavor of the cinnamon from the whiskey comes through, but not the actual alcohol. The pecans got the crunch, of course, but you don't have this ghastly sweetness 
um, that you would expect when you think about the sugar but wow it is amazing really and truly for your holidays for any time of the year you want to do this just spend the time get into the the, the pastry itself that rough puff took a lot of time but it really and truly is worlds apart in comparison to a store-bought crust the entire thing end to end is just mouth-watering and on that note catch you guys on the next one